the Tremels' strat book. We're going to start with a nice and easy one. Arch A take on Inferno. Player 1. Your job is one of the easiest. You're going to be entry fragging and throwing the least amount of utility. The only thing you really need is a molly, while well, you can have other smokes and utility for other reasons. You're going to stop out at the chalk blackboard, and you're going to aim right where this antenna is and above the window. Kind of loose to use it. Throw it when you feel ready. Then you're going to watch any aggression towards men, making sure your mid player is not going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be holding mainly the left side, as you should have someone else hold the right side. Player 2 is going to be throwing a smoke for you, and you can, once you see that land, you're just going to watch any aggression to see if the CTs are going to push for information. You're not going to peek the angle, you're just going to hold and see if they peek at all. Then you're going to call for the second player to flash, whenever you're ready. As the flash pops, you're going to peek out, clear the angles, and mainly watch for the ninja and cubby positions. Then you're going to call for another flash, you're going to peek into arch. Both the smokes will be down. And as that comes out, you're just going to try and deal with the moto player, and then peek into sight. Angles, entry kills, clear out running, choose to clear out sight or pit. Probably sight is your option. That's your job done. Nice and easy. Player two, you're gonna be throwing some of the most utility. It's kind of the support player position. As you come in through mid, this can be used by the op or anything else. You can throw a nade up mid if you'd like. To try and ease your fight. You're gonna try and climb into Mexico really fast and hold the right side to watch any more aggression coming towards mid. You can hold here until your two arch player or alt mid players are gonna come in. Just jiggle this angle until your players push up mid. When they call for it, you're going to line up your smoke just like this, the top of the roof and the bottom left of the flower plant. You're going to throw it pretty loosey-goosey. It's going to land short, nice and easy. Then you're going to climb on the top of this barrel, and when your players say they're ready, you're going to throw this flash. It's going to be at the second little knob there at the top of the roof. Easy. Throw You're going to push that opera up the angle. Then you're going to go to this little marking here on the wall. Again, it can be pretty loose. So you don't have to line it up perfectly. Then throw a flash right to the right of this wooden peg here. That's going to flash him up that angle. When they call for it, you throw the flash. Easy. Your job is to make sure you're going to trade all your opponents. These smokes will be down. Your job is to carry the bomb, trade your, trade your team, and run around. Easy. Player three. You're going to be throwing one smoke and you're going to be the second entry. You need to make sure your trades are crisp and clean. You're just going to aggress up mid, make sure no one's going to peek better. That will be mollied off. Just be clear. And you're going to be supporting your second player in case they aggress up mid. Once your second player pushes into the mid brackets and the short smoke comes in, you're going to be lining up a nice little library smoke. You're going to get in the corner of this wall here. And you're going to aim straight up from that corner, right up to the first light, electrical pole, or electrical line. Easy. And then, as the flashes come in, you're going to swing out close while your first player swings out far. Your main goal is to maybe molly this cubby and make sure no one's going to peek from Ninja. You should have a molly here, so it should be pretty easy to throw there, just to be safe. As the second flash comes over, you're going to with your teammate and go in. Then you're just going to swing moto. Easy. Just trade your teammate and then just get some frags. Player 4, you have one of the hardest smokes in the game. And also, you're going to be playing somewhat of the lurk position. This is a hard position, it's very important. If your position doesn't come through, uh, this can be a loss round. First, you're going to watch any aggression to the bedrooms like everybody else's. Then, your main goal is to hold any sort of absolute aggression. You're just going to hold this angle until you hear the short smoke pop. So as you hear that short smoke pop, you're going to line up with this door frame, and then you're going to aim at the corner of this door. This is a hard smoke to throw and you should practice beforehand. You're going to take a running throw, very short, almost like you press W and then you jump throw immediately, and it's going to pop right inside that arch. Then you're going to push through apps. You got to clear every angle here and make sure you don't die. Your main goal is just to provide an alternate angle of attack. If you die here, it's all wasted. Don't peek with your molly here as I do, but you know the drill. Clear out all your angles, then throw this molly into pit. Make sure you don't peek full pit and throw it in because you can get one tap there. Nice, easy. Then as your other three players aggress, 
you're gonna peek out that flash is bad, and you're gonna try and try an alternate angle attack. Don't peek before your your teammates are already in the site. Player five, you're the, really the information player here, and you're also putting any sort of pressure on B to try and keep the B players there. Your job is probably just to die, but hopefully if you get one kill, you shot better than ever. First, you're gonna throw the molly in the car, which you should know by now. You should cover the front and the back. Your main goal is to watch any sort of aggression coming down B or any sort of stack. Right before the exec is thrown, you're going to start pushing it. You're going to throw a CT smoke any way you like, but this is my preferred method. Then call for the exec to happen. As the exec starts happening, you're going to throw this little lurch flash here. You can throw any sort of smoke you want, and you're just going to rush into the B bomb site. The main goal here is to figure out how many people are actually here. So it doesn't matter if you die or not, but you want to see if you can get far enough into the site to get in. And if you don't die, then boom. All you are in the site is just kill the flashes and smokes. It's very important that you push before your teammates execute the site. It's to provide some sort of information to make sure they're not stacking the A site, as well as to provide somebody to pull the rotation over so they can get trapped by the smokes. There it is, nice easy. Now there's a lot that can be improved on this take, or this execution, and a lot of that you'll learn as the more you play. Like, you can throw this flash, where you line up loosey-goosey like that, and you bounce it off the skybox. It lands in sight, doesn't blind your guy to poke the moto, but blinds a lot of positions around it. And a lot of this can be taken from your own position the more times you play this. This is just the basic utility you need to be able to take the site in an efficient manner. Like, this can be thrown with a third player or anything else. Uh, as you play your position more, you'll understand a little bit more tricks and how people play against it and uh, you can figure out a lot of things about it. But this is just kind of a starting point to get you understand how to work as a team and how to take the A side through arch side.